there was a period of like 90 days to where both Corey's family and my family had a semi that had algae in the fuel tanks. And it was so strange because we had different fuel suppliers. And the best research that we came up with was fuel in a semi tank on the truck isn't necessarily caused from a fuel source. It's from something that got in while you're refueling the truck up. Is that accurate? All I know is it was a royal pain in the ass for the both of us to try and get that fuel system cleaned out, get those tanks emptied and cleaned out. Yeah, there, there's a, you know, it goes back to the, the guys that I've dealt with over the years. Like, I've been doing this for so long. I, I, yes, but with ultra low sulfur diesel, with biodiesel blended, you know, percentages into the diesel fuel in, in a lot of areas, biodiesel is a, it's a great in a lot of ways, but it is an excellent food source for the bacteria growth. And all it takes for bacteria to start growing is just droplets of water, not even visual to the, the naked eye, you know, sitting in the bottom of the tank. If there's little droplets of water, we always say a droplet of water is like a skyscraper for bacteria microbes. They eat the hydrocarbons in the diesel fuel, but they live on the oxygen that's provided by the droplets of water. 